Welcome to the Williams College Museum of Art. We're now in the first of a series of exhibitions comprising our project, Reflections on a Museum. Our overarching goal for this project was to ask new questions of the objects in our collection. To do so, we had a series of conversations for over two years with faculty here in the Art Department at Williams College, educators and curators working together to look again at the objects that we have in our collection and to think of new ways to present them. We also took on the museum itself as a subject and asked questions about how the museum shapes the meaning that we find in art objects. In this gallery, the exhibition, Object of Art, poses two very broad questions. What is it and what is it doing here? In this case, we have a sort of an appetizer for the reinstallation project as a whole. We have presented a range of objects ranging across time, culture, from a Sumerian tablet to contemporary artwork by Jenny Holzer. And we presented them in a seemingly um, haphazard manner, as if the visitor is coming into our storage closet and opening up the door, just as educators and curators do, when we look at objects and then begin to think about which ones we're gonna select for an exhibition, how we're gonna organize them, and how we're going to present them. So this is the kind of pre-taxonomic phase of exhibition development, and we're inviting visitors to engage in that decision-making process with us. In the object of art, we posed a broad question, where does art start? Here we have an ancient Egyptian grave pot, an Etruscan vases. These objects began their life with a utilitarian purpose in their respective cultures. Now here they are on display at a museum in Williamstown, Massachusetts. How is it that they became art? When did they become art? These are some of the questions that we're inviting viewers to consider. One of the first objects that you'll see in this gallery as you come in is La Boite en Delise by Marcel Duchamp. He created it in 1962, and we present it here to draw attention to the tremendously influential role of the artist in shaping the meaning of art. And it's like a mini museum. In it, he created reproductions of the paintings and objects that he had done throughout his career including the famous urinal, a factory-made object that he presented suit as artwork suitable for exhibition in 1917. And in doing so, he changed forever the way that we think about art. We also created a series of juxtapositions in this gallery to invite viewers to consider all the different shades of meaning and along the lines of what makes an object a work of art. Here we present two doors and ask the question, when is a door not a door? when it's a work of art. We're comparing this artwork by Jim Dine from 1962 with an African granary door. In Dine's piece, we can see that he added an extra doorknob and extra hinges and that he painted it with vigorous, um, thick textural strokes. In um, the granary door, we can see beautiful carving of, of uh, figures. They're called Nomo, they're primordial twins and they signify the very beginning and creation of life. The granary door actually um, is on a silo and protects the harvest so that families will have enough to eat. So the beautiful aesthetics actually um, marry with the utilitarian purpose and contribute to the meaning of the piece. Well, the first section of this exhibition mostly addressed objects that began their life with a utilitarian purpose and then became art, either by virtue of the museum saying it was art or an artist declaring that it was art. This section of the object of art considers what happens to sacred objects when they are removed from their original context and then presented in the museum. So here we have objects from ancient Greece, ancient Rome, Asia, India, Europe, all of which have been removed from their original context. The celestial being from India was once adorning a temple and providing an occasion for devotees to express their spirituality. Now here it is in a museum and we ask the question, where is the sacred in art? We're focusing on the art of display in this installation. On the right, we have a Dan mask from West Africa, presented as it was common to do in the late 19th and early 20th centuries in museums, in a very spare, well-lit display, stripped of any raffia, of any accoutrement, just the pure mask so that you can focus on its forms.
And on the left, we have a display featuring three masks, also from West Africa, featuring a map showing their region from where they came, and a photograph illustrating how they are used in specific ceremonies. So this mode of presentation, which is more common today, has a kind of an anthropological bent to it, trying to really um, inform visitors about the social and cultural implications of the artwork, not just the aesthetics. So we hope that by making transparent some of the museum practices, the way that we select, organize, display the objects, that visitors will become more aware of the ways in which museums shape meaning and also will feel more empowered to find the meaning on their own in the artworks and to really enjoy your visit with us.